that time again. <laughs> Why am I awake? Man, it's kind of sucks. There's not anything to be stressed about this time. I've got no excuse. I'm just awake at half past three in the morning. <sighs> so first of all, I want to apologize for not streaming over the last... I think this was the third day, technically, the last stream. I guess you could argue that we're on the fourth day, because it's the early hours of the morning. But let's pretend that it's been three days because I haven't actually slept yet. So it still feels like we're on the third day. My excuse for not streaming, and it's not really a valid excuse, well, it kind of is. It's like, I don't want to stream if I don't feel like streaming. Which is to say, that I don't think it would be very entertaining if I forced myself to stream. And the last few days, I haven't really been playing many games that is to say, there is only one game I've been playing. It's a MOBA called Smite. And I don't think that's a very good stream game. Because when I play MOBAs, I get very, very, very salty very, very quickly. And I would not be able to offer a... Well, it would not be very entertaining. I mean, maybe it would be to some people, but you know what? That ain't the kind of content you come here for. <laughs> that is absolutely not what you come here for. Not at all, at all. You don't want to see me get all salty and gross and whiny. It's just unpleasant. And therefore, I will probably never stream myself playing a MOBA full stop. And that is my reason for not streaming the last few days. I, it feels wrong to go more than two days of art streaming. So I will generally try not to do that. It's just that, as I said, it sometimes it's going to be inevitable because, you know, if there's nothing good to stream, if there's nothing I want to play, then I can't really stream. I can't just stream myself talking. I mean, that'd be, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? But no one would show up. <laughs> but what would we talk about? That'd be really weird. But yeah, you know, maybe maybe, maybe in the future, maybe we'll, we'll have a few more viewers. Maybe we'll, we'll do a just chatting stream. We'll just, we'll just we'll catch up. We'll do like a weekly, a weekly. Let's just sit down and rest for a bit and have a chat. That'd be nice. I'm down with that. <laughs> and I hope you guys will be down with that too. I don't know. We'll see what happens anyway. The future is all one big mystery, isn't it? It's very, very scary and very exciting. Anyway, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I, always, I, I feel like I used to say welcome to the stream like right at the beginning, and like lately I've, I've just had this serious problem where. I'll just kind of ramble for like a good three minutes or so, and then I'll, f I'll finish it all up with just welcome. As, because I just generally just forget to say probably the most important part of the sentence at the beginning. So with that said, let's go play Resident Evil 2. Uh, when I say short stream in the title, I actually really do mean it this time. It's going to be a short stream because, I mean, it's through the morning. I need, this, I need to try and sleep, you know. I, mean, I, I failed once, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to take it lying down. I'm going to get back up and I'm going to try and stream again. Uh, stream. I'm going to try and sleep again. Uh, we're not streaming again. <laughs> but I mean, you know, if I fail, we're going to actually prepare to sleep. I mean, you know, maybe you'll see another stream from. <laughs> it's, it's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep. Stream incoming. Let's go. Right. With that said, someone lost the key. Uh, are we prepared? We only had one increment. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, well, if we get an increment, we're not going to use it right away because we're going to save it for when we when we need to stop streaming. Because <laughs> otherwise, I will be fucked. Anyway, so this is actually my favourite part of the game. Which, I mean, it's... Uh, it's, it's debatable whether this is a good time to, uh, to have gotten to that, but... At the same time... I mean, it does make me want to play the game. <laughs> So that's something. That's always a good sign. Anyway, so how was you? How have you guys' nights? Night. I can't speak. <laughs> how has your night been? For all of you people, any anyone who happens to be showing up right about now, you having a good time? Maybe you two are, are suffering from insomnia, unable to sleep. I think I probably killed these two. I fucking hope I did. Also, one day I'll use my camera again. I'll actually let you in on, the, on a little secret. Just just between you and me, my one viewer. 
the reason I haven't actually been stream uh, streaming, the reason I haven't been showing my camera lately, is because I desperately, desperately need a haircut. And because of the lockdown in England right now, I, <laughs> I can't go to a hairdresser. <laughs> They're all closed. And therefore we kind of find ourselves in this very awkward position of, please God, let this lockdown end so I can get a haircut. <laughs> Even then, the worst part is actually uh, I won't take any steps forward because there's something uh, there's something coming up. I don't want to ruin it. Let's, let's stay out of the rain for a second long while I talk. So even when the hairdressers open up, I won't be able to immediately get a haircut because I mean <laughs> everyone's gonna need a haircut, right? So I'll probably be waiting ages. I'll, I will probably use face cam again at some point soon. Just as like a one-off, just so you can see what the kind of mess I'm dealing with right now. I'll take off my headset and everything and I'll show you just how bad it is. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Once I get a haircut, I'll feel a bit more confident. And this is a bad haircut, in which case maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be waiting a little longer after that. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to get a haircut ASAP so I can start doing face cut again about being incredibly camera shy about my stupid fucking haircut. <laughs> Anyway, so here, I would like to introduce you to a little friend of mine, or well, a big friend of mine, really. Ah, I do have a mod on. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I did or not. Well, anyway, let's run. Oh, so he's got that little... It's a little squeaky, squeaky dog. I couldn't remember what mods I had on. I actually, I thought I had um, a mod where it played uh, X Gonna Give It To You. Apparently I don't. Also, I hope this isn't, like, you know, too hard for Twitch or anything, because... I don't want this to be the reason I get, like, banned or something. So, actually, you have Mr. X and a Speedo on your stream, so... You're gonna have to ban you for that one. Well, anyway, um, I don't know if there's any zombies in this place. I think we're good. Anyway, I might actually try and disable that mod between streams, just in case. You know, like, for this stream, you can enjoy it, you know, enjoy it while you, while you can. Burn it into your eye sockets and all that. But eventually we'll, uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be disappearing, probably forever. To be honest, I actually, I don't really, like, all joking aside, I don't know why I have that mod on. <laughs> because his normal appearance is way cooler anyway. There's not really any reason for me to have given him that outfit. But anyway. Wait, do I have film grain on? I just realised. That's, that's weird pixelation. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I just realized something. Let's go to options. Uh, display? Camera? Graphics, there we go. We can turn up the graphics because we have a better computer now. Look at this. What are we, we going to change? What are we, what are we turn? I actually have no idea what to turn on. Uh, recommend it? What does it recommend? Apparently whatever this, these settings are. I kind of want really good shadows, so maybe I'll like... Ah, uh, to high usage. We'll have shadows on high then. That's a really random setting. It's <laughs> specifically shadows. Everything has to be like, low quality, but we'll have really good shadows though. We gotta count the polygons on the shadows anyway because of the, <laughs> the, the shitty models, but you know. Right, well, that's a very minor change, I think, but it is a change. Anyway, so Mr. X. We saw him just over there, right? If this is your first time seeing Resident Evil 2, as I'm actually not sure who is watching right now, so I'll explain the game, the mechanics of this game to you as though you're a completely new player. Uh, watcher. So Mr. X is a big old hulking, terrifying figure who, uh... You can hear him stamping around the building when he's close by. And it is scary as shit. <laughs> it's so fucking eerie. Like you're just like you're going for like a you're sneaking through a hallway and there's a liquor on the ceiling and you're trying to hide from him. You're trying to go slowly and suddenly in the distance you just hear thump, 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 and you're just like, oh no, please no. And then the fucking door at the other end of the hallway opens up and you have to fucking turn and run and the liquor leaps on you and it's oh it's so fucking scary but I love it. It's such a cool mechanic and horrifying. But yeah, <laughs> that is basically, that is Mr. X. I'm hiding here because he always looks for you 
but unless he's seen you recently, he doesn't actually know where you are. You can lose him, and hiding like this is actually one way to lose him. I don't think we have to worry because he's not there. I don't know where he went, he should have followed me, but he kind of just didn't. Which is bizarre. But yeah, basically, you can hide from him, you can run from him, but he will always chase you. And it is absolutely fucking horrifying at the worst times. But also sometimes, you know, he'll appear and you'll just be like, oh, okay, bye, and you just instantly can leave. I actually don't remember what we were doing the last time I played this game, you know? Oh, I got this! What can we open now, then? Oh, wait, oh, fuck. Oh, no. So you see this room over here. <laughs> I don't like this room. I won't spoil it for you. But there is a reason for it. In fact, you know, there's another room I don't like. It's also it's this one right here. I don't like many rooms in this place as it happens. In fact, I think this club key might be the worst key in the game. Because it just opens up all the shittiest rooms in the house. Also, my throat's a bit dodgy. It's pretty because I'm tired. Also, I don't think this blub was here last time, right? I think this is new. Am I mistaken? Oh, maybe I am. Anyway, I'm actually going to turn up the game because I think it's really quiet for me. What's my... Headset on, I can't. Hang on, I can't actually. Give me a second, I'm gonna try. <laughs> gonna try and like select something else. Alright, oh, my headset's turned down quite low. Right, there we go. I'm listening out to make sure that <laughs> Mr. Rex isn't about to fucking follow me in. But yeah, you hear that noise? You hear that noise? The worst fucking noise <laughs> in the game. Quite honestly. Stop breathing so much. <laughs> you just hold your breath, Leon. <laughs> Whoa, huh? Wait, where, where did he go? Where did Mecca go? I don't like that. So that's uh, a friend of ours, whose name is um, Stephen. We're gonna open up this, <clears throat> this little door. Ooh. Ah, I thought this does. All right, that's good. We can make progress. So you may notice this heart door over here, which leads into this same room. Rather bizarrely. I, can ex I could explain it to you. Part of me worries that it's a spoiler. I'm trying to like focus here, I'm just... Oh god, he's here. Oh fucking hell, the fucking menacing. Oh! Wait, hang on. We have everything in this room. We don't. We have an ink ribbon. Oh god. Let's, let's, let's walk as quickly as we can. This is just like. Oh, you got me. Oh, oh fucking hell. You see what I mean? It's like you're this whole way. It's just a genie. <laughs> hang on. They're gonna. Oh god! <gasps> Wait, I have a knife. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope, I hope Twitch doesn't like fucking ban me. All right. All right, we can run. <laughs> All right. So you may think, oh, we're in a safe room though. We're fine. Mr. X does not give a fuck about safe rooms. Which is, which is great news. Yeah, great news. Ooh. Right, let's fucking let's run. Uh, so. We picked up this thing. This thing enables us to do something in... I'm not too loud, so again, there are people sleeping, I kind of want to like wake them up. In this room. Alright, so first things first, we go right over here and we do this. Boop. And then we have to... Uh, well, that's the thing, Mr. Rex is kind of a pain in the fucking ass. Like so.
It's like, luckily, he does patiently wait for us to go up the ladder so he can follow. <laughs> the moment I look at him, I'm just like, hang on a minute. <laughs> should I should I just quickly that take five minutes to quickly go turn off whatever this mod is? Well, I, I don't actually know how to mod this game. That's the problem. But, you know, I have to figure it out, right? It's not really an option. It's not like I can just be like, ah, oh, this is fine. Alright, I think... We want to move this one to the left. Oh god, follow the squeaking. So normally, I should probably clarify, the, the, the squeak mod is something I'm going to leave on because it's hilarious to me. Normally, it's like I said, a thumping sound. But I mean, like... <laughs> I mean, if you're, not, if you're not scared of a fucking eight-foot-tall monster following you wearing clown shoes, you've got bigger balls than I do, I'll tell you that. So the plan here basically is just to keep sort of pulling him away, because you can do this without him showing up, but I feel like every time I've played this game, I think he's always kind of shown up for the library segment. I think it might possibly be scripted, but I don't want to say it is, because I could be talking out of my ass. Right, let's try this. Come on, come on. Also, the name, <clears throat> Mr. X. I can't remember where it comes from. It might be his actual name, or it might be what people call him. I cannot remember which one it is. You might think, why didn't you shoot him? Well, let me tell you something. You can't actually kill Mr. X. You genuinely cannot kill Mr. X. It is simply not possible. Also, be prepared for this boy. And into here we go. Alright, we can take a breather. Because, and this may be spoiling it for you, but at the, at the end of the day, this isn't a blind stream after all. This The whole point of this stream is literally... Bad, bad player does a hardcore run. So, this is one of, for some reason, the only safe rooms in the entire game from Mr. X. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of do, because it would, be, it would be awful to try and dodge him in here. There's not really any way to dodge around him, right? And there's only one way out, it's right there. Wait, hang on, I don't, I don't have any ammo, oh my god. I also don't even have a knife, do I have a grenade, I guess, it's something. Oh, there he is. So you may be thinking, uh... Actually, no, I literally just explained that there's a safe room. You can see me in here, but he can't actually open the door. And thank god. Imagine if he could. <laughs> just the squeaking every time makes me laugh. It's so stupid. Why did I pick these mods? You know, the smart thing to do would have been to open up this game before I started streaming and be like, okay, so what mods have we got? Okay, well we can disable that one and this one because it kind of ruins the it kind of ruins the scary part, <laughs> just a little bit. But apparently, I'm not very responsible. Who, who knew? Wait, there's a back room. I actually forgot about this. There's not any mods. <laughs> if I have to kill a zombie in here, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna be screwed. I have such little ammo. Right, uh, okay. I didn't see any liquors. I'm gonna assume we're safe. Alright. I think we're good. Right. So, it's a gear puzzle. I don't really have to say anything else, I'm sure. 
You can just hear the doors opening, right? Opening all the grace of a fucking bull. Or a bull. bull. How do you pronounce, like, bull? I think it's bull, right? I feel like bull is like a football. But bull is like the animal. Like, you can just hear him, he's so fucking loud. But, yeah, so here's a problem. I don't actually remember where the first gear is. Man, I need a drink. I, should <laughs> I might take a quick break to get some water. I wonder if there's like a gear or a cog or whatever the technical name is for it out here. Wait. The zombies moved over there. I guess I'll pick this up, why not? We might try to get a lucky shot on him. I mean, that'll do. There's only four bullets, that's all it took. He's down for, this, for the moment. Let's run. So a fun fact, which is really cool, is this entire room is loaded. It's all that, that hallway, all of that jazz. There he is. Uh, so you, if he's down on the lower floors in the safe room, like these patrols, like, ooh, I just got the shit out of me, holy f I think they were both waiting for me, right? But yeah, um... <laughs> fun fact, if, if, he's, if he is down there, you can see him. So you can see him patrolling around. What's also cool is that he can see you. So he can't. You might. You might look down and see him. He might look up at you, and then suddenly he'll just start rushing towards your position. You might not think that's cool at all, but I do. <laughs> I think that's cool as fuck. It's not exactly a technical marvel, but it's still really well done. Oh, he's up there, right? As I explained. The whole floor is loaded. I'm not going to let him see me. Because I would rather he didn't come down here. Like, that's just such a cool mechanic, right? The idea of, like, a roaming monster that you can't kill. You don't even have the option. He's just... He's always looking for you. And he will find you. Sometimes at really bad times. Especially on hardcore, in which case it's just about every time you can find you is a bad time. Rest in peace, uh, Martin? I should probably remember his name, you know, given how much I respect him, apparently. I'm gonna put these away for now so they don't take up, uh, room. Why you no sleep? <laughs> you know what? I fucking wish I could. I really do. <laughs> I'm gonna use some gunpowder, you know? In fact, why don't you sleep, Mr. King of Death? Well, I suppose if you actually are the King of Death at the end of the day, it kind of makes sense, right? Why would Death need sleep? Slept all day. Yeah, that sounds pretty in character, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Right, well, what do I do next? I think I know. I might be overreacting. But I swear, if I'm remembering correctly, I really... I really don't want to go there. <laughs> if I remember correctly, that's not a nice room. See, look at that, he's up there. And now he's going to rush to our position. What's wrong with that room? Mm, I wonder. Mm. Let's get over there before he can catch us. Maybe we'll lose him. Oh yeah, just, just uh, purely for reasons, you know, just just to sort of just to test your knowledge. Uh, 
I suppose you're going to run the code for this safety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, just, speak, just speaking like hypothetically. I mean, you know. Hmm. You don't? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Dad, King, I suppose I remember all of them. Right, uh... Right, yes, I know where we're going, yeah. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> There's a random event that can happen here. If it happens, it's gonna scare the shit out of me. Now I'll find a note, don't worry about it. I was mainly just asking because, uh, well, for one thing, I wanted to sort of see if you could remember it, but for another, I also thought, you know what? Look at it, I can just cheat. <laughs> it's probably for the best that I don't cheat, though. I can discard this now. Oh. It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hanson, age 39, city resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy, per se, he was a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. I can't believe he tried to pull a fast one at a police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Left six, right two, eleven left. I don't know if you were actually guessing there with that comment, or if you just saw it and wrote that afterwards, but if it's the former, congratulations, you were correct. <laughs> oh, you saw it, fair enough, yep. <laughs> I can't remember if Mr. X could enter this room, and I kind of don't want to find out. <sighs> More increments, thank god. That means I can actually end this stream within about an hour or so. Because this will be a very short stream for sure. I can guarantee you. I can't just stream like this late. <laughs> I don't think I don't think many people are actually awake at this time to be honest with them. This is the usual audience anyway. So there's a random event that can happen out here and uh I feel like it's gonna happen, you know. Prepare yourself <laughs> just in case. Okay, I don't think it happened. Also, I think he can hear you, right? It only happened to you once. I think I actually was- I think I remember you <laughs> when it happened to you. <laughs> Cause I think you were trying to make it happen, right? Door open and I'm so nervous. He knew it was around but thought he was upstairs. That sounds about right. There's a room in here. It's got a heart on it. Yeah, we're not going in there. Well, let's go down. Whee! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I tried so hard to avoid it, but you fucking knew I was. I hate it. I hate it. This isn't fair. He's clearly, he's clearly stream sniping me. Look at this shit. Unbelievable.
Right, I have a combination. Let's, let's try to do this quickly. <laughs> left 6, right 2, left 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, I don't know why I'm counting. I'm pretty sure it's that, right? You just go to the numbers. Yeah. What have we yet? I don't remember. Uh, a muzzle brake for the Matilda. Which is what I am using. A custom part of the Matilda that produces re recoil and muzzle rise by redirecting the propeller to gas up and raising the face. Okay, it's just law. So that first part, it reduces recoil, I guess. Look at that. We learned something. Well, we gained something. We didn't learn anything. I learned something. And I'll probably forget it very quickly. But our gun is slightly better now, and that's all that matters to me. Let's run, because he's coming. Right, so I'm going to do one quick check through all of these safe things we've got. I think we've probably only got two of them. We've got this one, which isn't the new one. But I wonder if there isn't like another one, because there's this one. So West Office First Floor. And we've already opened that one. But then there's one more, right? I swear there is. Alright, well, if, if there is one more, if I'm remembering correctly, then we have not yet found the paper for it. We can say that for sure. Right, let's put stuff away. Ink ribbons, gunpowder, and this ornate box. What could possibly go into this box? I guess I can't actually hang on. Let's examine it for a moment. Looking closely, you can see there's a bunch of jewels in there and then one big empty slot, which looks as if maybe, perhaps, and I mean, I mean, I'm mean, I mean, speaking figuratively here, I mean, hypothetically, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe a jewel would, would fit into this little slot, huh? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> and there we go. What, 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 look, what are the chart? Look, amazing, amazing. How does he do it? What a genius. Anyway, so inside this box is a stars badge. I actually forgot that you get the stars badge from doing that. I thought it was something else. Also, I don't know what the box went. I guess he just threw it away. <laughs> Anyways, here we can go, boop, and now we have a USB dongle key. Why is it not a dongle? What a weird name. But a USB, basically. USB stick. Which, honestly, in the 90s, in the late 90s, wasn't that probably a really big deal to have a USB stick? I could be mistaken, but I thought, I don't know, I thought USBs were like, at least like, you know, mid, mid, late 2000s, right? When they really started to take off? I could be wrong. Well, anyway. So, the USB dongle key, otherwise known as the badge, which I accidentally mentioned a few hours of gameplay ago, can be used in the star's office. I don't like going to the star's office, but as we've already established, I don't like going to many places in this place. You know, you'd think I don't like this police station very much of how much I greatly dislike everything in it. Is there anything I'm missing at all? I'm pretty sure I have now unlocked almost every room. Well, we haven't cleared up the star's office yet, so I feel like we know. I think we might be a bit cornered here, you know? I think maybe we're going to the star's office. Uh, well, there's the clock tower, which requires gears. I guess we'll take the gear with us. Because, you know, large gear. Where could it possibly be used? Could it be the gear puzzle? I want, did we take the shotgun? Oh, we've got way more ammo for this, right? Right? Uh, yeah, nine shells isn't really that much. Uh, I'm taking this knife though. And I'll put this, I'll put this away. We have three slots. That is not ideal. But I don't think there's that much left in the star's office for us to grab. I'll probably do my first save soon. What would be the best way forward, do you reckon? I guess through here. A 
I think you killed everything in here, right? Because we kind of got a, a little bit too trigger happy, maybe. Wasted all of our ammo. Oops. But then out here is our least favorite friend of all. The liquor. Thankfully, I think he's actually just set up shop over there in that corner. So I think we're actually just okay. I don't, I don't know if he's ever gonna move. Can I be real with you? He seems pretty content with that position. So now we can just kind of go through here, I guess. And hope to God we don't hear any fucking squeaking, because oh no. <laughs> we hear the squeaks we run for the safe room. Well, look at that, huh? I guess it's that time again. Well, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I've, let's remember that I left something in, 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 a, in a very special room. Do you want to wait and see where he's going to come from in particular? What floor do you suppose he's on? What if to fucking turn that corner or something to scare the shit out of me? Oh, wait, hang on, what? You just, you just looked, right? He looked at me and then walked off. He's like, nah, I'm done. I'll, I'll feel it today. Does he know where I'm going? Yeah, that, that's, that's a mod, but on one hand, I kind of wish I had. <laughs> the X got to give it to you, mod. But on the other hand, it's probably better I don't because of DMCA. I would probably just get banned. <laughs> I thought like that mod is probably just like... It's just it's just bait at this point, isn't it? It's just bait to get you banned, basically. <laughs> Which is very, very sad. Because that mod is, is genuinely hilarious to me. Probably funnier than the squeaks. So here's hoping that uh the squeakers has now disappeared. And that we don't just kinda of patrol into them, because if we if we do we're gonna be waiting a while. <laughs> Waiting a good while for him to disappear. Yeah, liquor's over there. I'm gonna walk through here. Please don't appear on that corner. Thank you. Right. So, this uh, presumably re revolutionary USB stick goes in here. Like so. I think I accidentally just pulled out the USB, didn't I? I am very silly. Turns up. Who knew? Let me do this. Authenticating account. Over here you'll find some lore. To my best to start, but... I all do it at that drab old station. Hanging like there against all old lines. Me, I just got back from a date with an hot, with an hot chick. Bet you. <laughs> that does not sound like that, something that voice would ever say, right? An hot chick. <laughs> no, <laughs> not an hot. Well, how would that sort of voice say, do you reckon? You'd probably say, oh, like a bird, right? You'd be like, oh, an old bird. I actually have no idea, like, how they, how they would say attractive. Anyway, this, this is completely irrelevant. That's a. Uh, but you can guess what we go up to under her extra large umbrella. Wink. Europe is a maiden. One month and there's no way enough to scratch the surface. I mean, Europe's fucking huge, mate. It's, it's an entire continent. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think about coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah? So you just leave the vapes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm alright. I went on holiday without telling my telling her, you know, because I'm a very responsible adult. I like, imagine just being like, yeah, I'm gonna go on a holiday. I'm not gonna tell anyone from my fucking family or anything. Just, I'll just leave them in the dark. It's just like, let's just disappear for like a month or two. They won't notice. Well, this gun's been fully loaded. That's cruel. Well, anyway, uh, I think if I grab this. Yeah, there you go, look at that. Alright, well that's that's one less red zone on the map. Which means we have made more and more progress. Look at this blue map. This beautiful, mwah, blue map. Which means only one place left for us to go, right? Only one.
I don't know which fruit he's going to come from. He's going to be here somewhere. Alright, I'm just like, I'm just sitting out so intently, I'm just like, please. Please don't suddenly appear. I think we're okay? Question mark? I think we're okay. Oh, I don't, I don't see him. I'm gonna pretend we're good then. Let's stick our fingers in our ears for now and just say, la 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 la, we're fine. So... You may have noticed, anyway, your e eagle-eyed viewers, and by that I mean probably literally everyone, noticed that I still have this stick. Well, that's because it still has another use. But for the time being, we won't find out what that use is. We'll come back to that. Also, this lightning hawk is actually the best gun in the game, so... <laughs> we are very lucky to have it. Unfortunately, we probably won't be using it. Anytime soon, that is. We'll, we'll definitely be using it at some point in the game. Right. I think for this next puzzle we're probably prepared? Probably? Hopefully, anyway. Well, we're going back to the clock tower. Oh. Oh, he's up there, look, I think. Yeah, he's on the top floor. And he hit that poor policeman. Leave him alone! Right. Well... You know, I think I'm starting to remember why that's actually the model I use for that character, for the for Mr. X. I think it was because when I was looking for mods, I found like three options, and I think the other two barely even changed anything about him. I should know one barely changed anything. One was a joke that I didn't really get, and that was the third option. And I guess I just thought, you know what, I better pick one of them, even though really, the best choice is probably just not to bother, right? <laughs> best choice is probably just leave him as he is. Don't fix what ain't broken and all that. Right. Wait, is this like the, the clock tower? I think you can, but wait. The route he was taking actually leads up here. <laughs> At least it could. Uh, <laughs> you can effectively just hear the stress, right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting like this. Can they open this door? Oh, they can, nice. That makes it a little bit easier then. Now he's tanky, ain't he? You cut off one of his legs, I'll take that. Look at that. The thing is, that wasn't the only one in the room, right? There was a second one? If I am remembering correctly. The other guy was bald. I don't see him anywhere. I don't see his body there. Now our old friend, Mr. X, he's still around here somewhere, I know he is, I can almost, I can almost hear the fucking squeaking now. I can hear the doors slamming behind me is what I can hear. <laughs> our friend over there is coming towards us, so run! Okay. And we're safe. Feel, feel that deafening silence, just, just just embrace it for a second, just the fact that we are, for some reason, totally safe as long as we're in this room. Thank God. Right, with that said, let's go up here. Because I don't remember where the gear is, but I'm gonna take a guess it's up here somewhere. Go 
could it be? A small gear? First thought, maybe this gear puzzle doesn't seem very difficult. To be honest, you're probably just. I think you're just right. I don't think there's any like. I don't think there's any follow up to that. It really is just the case. I don't think it's very difficult at all. <clears throat> you get the gear, then you put them in the slots, and then the puzzle kind of just solves itself. I'm pretty sure the last gear, and by the last gear, I mean technically the first gear, goes in here. Like so, and then this is the point where you're gonna want to have headphones on. If you don't have headphones, I sincerely apologize because your entire house is about to be woken up by the lo this loud fucking bell. I was saying that because it's not really that loud. Oh, there you go. There's the there's the loud. And, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I don't think that was our fault. I think that bell was very poorly designed. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. <laughs> oh, Leon, you're hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Oof. Wait. I'm guessing you know, Mr. X just walked past and punched the zombie? Because I, I thought for a second that door opened and I was like, oh fuck no. <laughs> Generally for a second there I was like, oh please don't. Don't do this to me. I thought it was going to be like, a, on hardcore he could open this door for some reason. I was going to be like, no please. Anyway, so what could it be? Oh, look at that, it's th this thing. The other version of the thing we got earlier. This man is now up again, because he's just... Just like me, he's completely restless. Also, hello, friend. I don't, I don't actually care about you. Almost, I almost care as little about you as this man cares about my bullets, apparently. <laughs> he's staring at me through the doorway. He's like, why can't I be the target? <gasps> That's all the zombies sound, right? Something like that. I can hear on my left that there is a Mr. X approaching, probably quite rapidly. No, there is not. Okay. Please ignore me. Oh, I'll admit, I've been thinking a lot about the future lately. <laughs> I know this is a bad time for it, but... It's been one of those things, I don't know, it's been on my mind, you know? I ain't gonna talk about it now, because I kind of just, uh, No one wants to hear about such such real talk on a silly little stream like this one, right? But... Nonetheless... I think he's down below, right? Yeah, there he is, on the bottom floor. Watch this fucking thing just lunge at me. No, oh, he cut up his leg. I'm sure we'll be best friends now if he does get up. Let's rush along here. We heard Mr. Rex. We're pretty sure he's not down here. Oh. Hey, bud. Well, the fact that there's only one left actually makes this way easier to dodge, I'm going to be honest. Right, this is the difficult part. Let's play Where is Mr. X? I think I heard a door open down there. That is to say, I think I heard it down there, but I could have heard it literally anywhere in this place. And I am quite sure that he's going to just suddenly pop up in the place that I least expect, because he tends to do that quite often. Could be there. Let's say an entire sentence about stumbling. What? What is this? Madness. Right.
just move my mic a little bit. I hope it's not too loud now. I could make some more gunpowder. I think I probably will. I don't know how many bullets we're gonna need. I sure hope the answer is not many. Hmm, you know, we've done a lot. We haven't quite streamed for an hour yet, so I guess we'll go a tiny bit over now, because we're very irresponsible and silly and all that. We'll go, we'll go for, uh, we'll say 30 minutes from this point, and quote me on that. 30 minutes. The stream ends in 30 minutes from now, at uh, 1.21.46, according to OBS. Put it in your calendars and then rub it out because it's a waste of space so you could put literally anything else in that calendar. I think, that is I think, that we have to go to the basement now. I don't remember where the basement is because I, I only really know the one way to the basement. Actually no, I think I think I figured it out. False alarm everyone, we're good, we're golden, let's go. And hopefully Mr. Rex is not down here. Because we, we did actually kind of see him sort of go this way, right? When we were on the top floor. We did. Okay. Okay. There he is. So, uh, hey! Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lose him because I don't think we can actually get around this next place. There's a lot of zombies in the next room, hallway, whatever you want to call it. I think there are, but there being a lot of zombies. So I want to try to lose him here. I <laughs> think he's got the fucking sunglasses on everything. Can I try to <laughs> hide from him? All right, see, you can you can lose him based upon sight. Right. Use the tour below us. If so, if so, we're probably safe to make the trek to the to the basement. <laughs> I've had a door, but I don't think I. Thinking about it logically, the door we heard was probably the one of him opening up and then leaving, right? Away from where we are? Oh, this isn't the way. It's this, this way. This way. This way we go. I don't know if that's a song or anything. I don't think that is. I think I just made that up. Alright. Are there zombies in here? Did I actually kill them all? I guess sort of is the answer, because there's technically one at the window. But otherwise, yes, we did. What about out here, though? This feels like a place where I'd get jumped on by like seven zombies. I guess there's a window blocked there. I would like to kill this one if I can. Oh, that window breaks, huh? 
Oops. Well, now we're in the safe room, which means we're safe, as we all know. Anyway, so normally, Mr. Mr. X, sadly I can't show you, but you know when he was a fedora? Or a trilby, whatever, whatever you want to call this bloody hat that's become so popular. And by popular, I mean more, more infamous than popular, really, but you know. So, uh... This. <laughs> Mr. X. Uh, I was sort of pointing at it and saying foreshadowing quite often. I was not being very subtle at all, to the point where if you knew anything about Mr. Rex, you probably knew that very well by now, that I was very obviously implying that. But nonetheless, there's your confirmation, that's what I was talking about. Hmm... It's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I really can't afford to waste any more bullets, I'm gonna be honest. I've wasted so many. I mean, you know what? Let's be irresponsible. We've, we've, like, if we can't finish this playthrough, I guess... I guess we just cry. Why are there two of them now? Come on. Do you know what I am going to do as well? I am going to grab this and reload it. Well, I'm going to try and get into a good spot for shooting him. You're going to go to sleep? Yeah, fair enough. See you, uh, see you around then, King. And, uh, as always, thanks for, thanks for coming by. <laughs> always nice chatting. Gonna waste some of that ammo, because I'm a fucking idiot. Right, now let's go block this window. Good thing I blocked that one, huh? Right. I don't actually know if anyone else comes through this window, but you know what? Let's not take any chances. Let's not be an idiot. Alright, time to go suffer some more in the sewers. No. Oh yeah, we get, we get creep music though. Not a very interesting song to listen to, as I've said before, but you know what? It is fucking great at ca capturing that terrifying atmosphere of this place. Are there doggies out here? Anywhere at all? I don't hear any. I think we're all right. No, we're not. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, we may have a bit, of a bit of a problem here. I only have five bullets in reserve, 25 loaded into the gun. And there's at least two dogs out there. <laughs> uh, and they're very excited to see me, apparently. They're trying to get into the door. Honestly, this is kind of like when you come home from, like, work or something and your dog's, like, really excited to see you, except right now your, your dog fucking hates you and wants to, like, rip off your face. That is effectively what we're experiencing here. Incidentally, if your dog wants to rip off your face, please... <laughs> please, please see a professional. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was actually going to jump through the door. Okay, so I guess he can, he can sort of jump through the door, I just can't get you. I want to try and kill it through the door, because I really- wait, wait, what? I actually damage you. This game fucking sucks, I hate it, I'm so, <laughs> so sad. Alright, one doggy down. It only cost me three bullets, that's not so bad. We can do this. But they all have to be headshots, right? That's the that's the trade-off. <laughs> such a 
such a fucking bullshit way of doing it, but you know what? We're on hardcore. It's justified. Ooh, I fired a second bullet because I held the button down, or the fucking mouse button down for like 0.2 of a second longer than I was supposed to. You know what? It's, I kind of want to try and. Hang on, could I like. Gunstock Matilda. Can I take that off? Like, can I, can I just, like, remove parts? Nice, I can, okay. Let's, let's not put that on. And then examine. Okay, so it's still got the other two. I think I prefer the gun like this, I'm gonna be honest. Less ammo wasted this way. Also, if you're asking... Why not just not kill the dogs? Save your ammo that way. Well, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> How many bullets this one cost me already? Oh my fucking god! This dog's gonna kill me! I think I actually might have just hit him. This dog's actually gonna kill me through the fucking doorway. <laughs> it's fucking- Oh my god, this is awful. Please. <laughs> Please. Fuck, I'm gonna heal, I don't care. I'm not trust- I don't- I'm not doing any chances. Did I, did I get him? I think I did. Right. All right, like like a pro, completely professional. All part of my calculations, of course. Did I get this gun part? I did. Okay. Right then. <clears throat> that said, I have like no ammo. Wait. Okay. There is a safe room nearby. I am going to take a, for no particular reason. I'm going to take a quick trip to the safe room. And I'm going to uh, put this away. Take this out. Grab one of these. <laughs> you may think we're doing an awful lot of preparation. Is there a reason for? No, there is not a reason. Nope, definitely not. Nope. I'll also take this and this. Actually, no, it's a lie. We've got so much stuff already, we can't take all of it. Hmm. I don't think we actually want this right now. We'll put that away. Alright. We lose both of these very soon. <clears throat> My throat's going to gammy. <laughs> Right. I think with these two gone, it's probably fine. We've got 15 minutes to get to the point that I wanted to try to get to in this stream. I think that is very doable, but we'll see what happens. I had a very vague outline of an idea as to what I wanted to... Uh, Try to accomplish in this stream. I couldn't remember that was open or not. Anyway, all our friends are still here, the whole gang. Okay, I was on this side, hello. Uh, Frank? Marcus? What was your name? I don't remember, it's been a while. <coughs> Look at me being a bad friend, unbelievable. Right, so this is actually a puzzle that's probably not very difficult. But for me, I have, I genuinely just, I don't, I just, I don't know what I'm doing at all with this puzzle. It's just, it confuses the hell out of me. Let's kind of stumble around in the dark for a while and eventually we'll, we'll get somewhere. Alright, that's one of them done. What about this one, though? <clears throat> I guess it has to go there, because otherwise it wouldn't be a connector or anything if it goes any other angle. If I turn that, 
we end up with a different problem on our hands. There you go, look at that. Problem solved, completely intentional. Yep, 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 yep. Right. <clears throat> I have throat. Please hold on, you've got like 15 minutes to go, it's not long. Ben's Mellow. What was Ben's voice? I don't know what he sounded like, whatever. The station's swarming with monsters, even here I can hear their cries. But it's not the zombie that I'm afraid of. Codename, Tyrant. The ultimate biofin developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. To think that that thing might be wandering around here. Chances are, they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. You may be wondering, is that Mr. Rex? Well, you know what? Yes, it is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. It is. It is it's Mr. Rex. If he's if he's actually referred to as Tyrant there, then it really does make you wonder. Where does the name Mr. Rex come from? So, you remember in Resident Evil 3, there was a scientist who basically said, I know I'm doing terrible things, but I literally cannot do anything to save them, and my family is in danger, so he's going to keep doing them. And I commented that that was a very realistic sort of, like, response. That was That's a very, you know, terrible but also sensible thing for him to do at the end of the day. Like, that's very believable. That's how most people would, probably would react in that situation, whereas in fiction... Usually you have characters that are really fucking dumb, like this guy. <laughs> don't be this guy. I mean, you know, if you want to be a hero, then by all means do, but please don't endanger your family. <laughs> anyway, so now this happens. And, uh, the big scare, <laughs> basically. I think you can do this. And open up this door for yourself. And then you can run through here, but guess what? Our friend. But that's why we've got Give this. Mud run! <laughs> there's so fucking many of you bastards, go away! Why are there so many of you? I'm trying to think of it, why are there so many of them though? Like, this is a police station, right? It's not only like a communal hotspot. Like, it's not like everyone just goes to the police station to hang out, right? Why are there so many people in here? Well, anyway, that's it. Let's take a few steps forward. Oh, whoa, whoa, cutscene, look at this, amazing! Also, this thing is glasses, and, uh, I don't know what's going on there, but I mean, uh... <laughs> right, and a big old van. I don't know why I'm literally just narrating what happens. Uh, is his arm okay? I think it's severed. Ada. And here's Ada. Old. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Me. Nothing dies down here. Very convenient with the gas inside to explode for some reason. I take it you have a key card. Yeah, and this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get out of here. And what's this? You may be asking. We might want to open the shutter. Nah, we're good. Let's just let's just let's, let's talk, Ada. Why don't we just hang out for a while? Why is it always business with you, huh? Why don't we just chat for a moment? Also, there's actually a. <laughs> open the damn shutter already. Well, anyway, I have 14 bullets. It hurts me so much. Anyway, why don't we examine it, because I've never actually looked at it before. It, it's literally just a card, but you know what, someone someone put effort into making this model, so we should... 
spend a good half an hour staring at this. Or, or maybe exactly, uh, what was it again? Ten minutes from now? Nine minutes from now? I can't remember what the actual time was. I've forgotten. Oh god. Well, anyway, let's use it. Let's, just, let's stop pissing about. Let's just let's hurry up. <laughs> like, why won't why can I not the bus? But we fool. So we have some space in our inventory. Say goodbye to your old friend the police station. Also Remind me again, what well, is this is quite quite familiar. I feel like it is, right? I don't even know if I'm pretty sure but only recently we actually saw this exact site in a another game. How strange. Is that anyway. Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? I told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. <sighs> that was a creepy yawn, what the heck? It sounded like a, a cry for help almost. Yep, it's certainly a big old hole in the ground, huh? Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Hmm. What a mess. Fucking how rude. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm sure this guy wouldn't fucking come into your house and be like, wow, this place is a shithole, lady. What have you done? Why is she, like, inspecting it? I guess this is certainly it is a mess. Like, I've seen some messes in my time, and this is definitely one of those. Ooh, Ooh, a long barrel for the shotgun, which I conveniently have, and by the way, this actually was not planned. Contrary to what you probably would expect at this point. What did it change anyway? It extends clip capacity to 8 rounds and boosts destructive power. You also technically get 4 bullets for free in this case. That is the shopkeeper. Kendo. It seems like you got your, got your reasons for staying put, so I'll trust you to take care of yourself. Still, if things get worse and your other arrangements don't work out, you know where to find me. I'll do everything I can. Always rely on Jill Valentine. Where would it be about our resident Jill sandwich? Is that everything? Yes. Okay, come on, Ada, let's go. Ooh. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you off. You gotta turn around, go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. <laughs> don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Dad. Supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too.
just go. Just give us some privacy. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. <laughs> and it begins. Yeah, that scene always fucks me up, man. It ain't fair, you know. <laughs> Making sure there's nothing we missed on the ground. I think there is. Let's continue. Heard of the but yeah, it's just <laughs> I'm always the wounded at that sort of thing. It's just it's so sad, man. They have a I don't really have any other words for it. <laughs> indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. <laughs> she sounds so happy. Well, that explains the horrible things I've seen. He's just like, it's so jovial when he says it. He's like, oh boy, the horrible things I've seen. Ah, finally, an explanation. Wonderful. Sorry for talking over their dialogue in the draw. Hopefully the subtitles are sufficient if you're really, really interested in the story and are unfamiliar with it already. Based on what you said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. And so we venture into the sewers. Can't Onwards we ride. Down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. That kind of made me laugh. Something about it. It's, I don't know what it is. Right. <clears throat> Jesus! Is that an earthquake? I you know what? I think, I think it was. I think there definitely was an earthquake. Yep, that look at that moving earthquake like, right over there. Wait, apparently there was actually something else. Oh. Hang on. Yes, there can eat. I'm gonna scour the sewer floor. Find items. Oh, I think that'll that'll be it. Alright, well there we go, Ada, good job. We are at one nineteen fifty. I think we're about we're about on cue to end the stream at the right time. So, with that said, let's put this away. Put this away. Uh, I think I will keep this for uh, you know reasons, and we'll probably keep this as well. Right. Uh, I think then five item slots. That's not that much. I'll store that. We won't need that much ammo after all. Six slots we'll have to do. And now we grab our ink ribbons. We make yet another save. And this will be our last save of this evening. Thank you for coming along for this journey. It was, like I said, a very, very short one. I hope it wasn't too short. I hope it didn't leave you unsatisfied. But I will be streaming some more of this game, of course. That is inevitable. I will absolutely stream again. I promise. <laughs> you have my word. And uh, next time it probably won't even be at 3 in the morning, which will be great. Well, it's actually nearly 5 in the morning now. Holy moly, where did the time go? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep like that at all. I'm going to get like 2 minutes of sleep. Let's go. Right. <clears throat>
Well, once again, anyway, thank you for coming along on this very, very short journey of ours. It's one hour and 21 minutes and 10 second journey, apparently. I Again, I don't actually remember what we're trying to get to. But I'm going to assume that we're about the right sort of area. Right. I'm going to probably tab out because I can't end the stream if I don't and it's really annoying. <laughs> right. So yes, thank you once again for coming along and uh, I'll see you next time for some more Resident Evil 2. Or maybe we'll play Hitman or maybe we Final Fantasy. We'll play something. We'll have fun though, I promise. I promise we'll have fun doing it. I'll, uh, I'll stake my life on it. <laughs> have a good night and look after yourself.